So today's video, I want to talk about uh, looped pellets and unlooped pellets, and specifically Crossman, Crossman Premier hollow points. Now, back in the day, in the 90s, uh, Crossman Dome actually reigned supreme, where the champions in the shootout uh, filled targets and stuff like that, and then JSB came along. Now, why is that? Why did they switch? Well, if you know anything, uh, I read a lot about uh, Pyramid Air, uh, Tom Gaylord's blogs and stuff, and they actually lubed the Crossman pellets because they were harder with anemone. So what happens is they, they're not pure lead like the JSB pretty much are. They're softer lead, uh, anemone increases the hardness of the pellet. So a little interesting fact is that's why Crossman's are so inexpensive is because they don't have to require more packaging and they don't require the extra lead to be a more pure lead. So come to find out uh, the best mixture, and I'm not sure if Crossman uses this, but according to lead cast uh, bullet makers, 6% anemone is added to the lead formula to make a harder projectile. So testing the Crossman Premier hollow point, which is the lesser of the dome, and they're pretty much available everywhere in the United States for a really reasonable price. For 500 pellets, you get uh, you get them about six dollars a tin. Another thing that I want to hit on too, also before I get into the testing of this video, is that a lot of people claim that all pellets are looped and that is not the case from what I found. Let me show you the footage of me opening this brand new tin of pellets to show you that there is no lube on these. A lot of people say that these are looped with graphite and if that was the case there would be graphite residue in this tin once you opened it. They're all shiny. Uh, as you've seen, the pellets are with antimony that adds an extra corrosive layer to the lead. So you're not seeing or getting oxidation quicker than if you were using a pellet that is pure lead and lubed. Believe it or not, in my testing I found that JSB pellets are lubed compared to Crossman's pellets that are not lubed out of the tent. So in the testing of this video, I'm going to be using the Umarex Gauntlet 22 caliber at 23 yards and comparing these pellets sorted, which I have found on the All About Airgun channel, the 551 head size seems to be the one for the gauntlet with these pellets. At 23 yards, I also tested the Crossman Premier Hollow Points lubed with full synthetic two-stroke, two-cycle engine oil. So let me go ahead and show you the testing clips shooting this gun freshly cleaned with a bore brush. Once the barrel was freshly cleaned, with the head size pellets and then with lube pellets.
So now, after the barrel was seasoned and acclimated in, I'm going to show you a comparison of the 551 head size pellets cross from Premier hollow point at 23 yards again with a dirty and foul barrel, again head sized, comparing them to random out of the 10 pellets that are lubed and see what happens. Have our targets so as you've seen they're properly marked 551 and loop pellets now there's the first group of the loop pellets out of a fresh barrel that is pretty much four out of the five pellets pretty much land in the same hole and that 12 mile an hour crosswind that I was shooting in that is crazy here's the first five shots out of the clean barrel again brushed clean with the head size pellets and then the next comparison I showed you was I was comparing the head size pellets in a dirty and foul barrel as you can see I shot an extra five shot group to get the lube out after these so I shot this first this second this third and then I showed you guys the footage of the head sized pellets in a foul dirty barrel versus loop pellets in a foul dirty barrel in a 12 mile an hour crosswind. So the head sized pellets again, four out of the five went to the same hole and the loop pellets opened up, which I find very interesting. And I wanted to share this with you because it seems that once a, or if a barrel is cleaned, the loop pellets shoot the best, which we all know that, right? We've seen it in many different videos where, like, hence JSB pellets were used. Like I said, mentioned before, these are lubed pellets out of the tin and a softer lead, so they shoot better out of a clean barrel. Well, this just proves in my testing that you can get pretty much the same amount of precision whether it's a lubed or unlubed pellet as you can see here so it takes the barrel to get acclimated to a pellet if it is not lubed and if it is lubed straight out of the barrel out of a clean barrel it shoots phenomenally which I have found in my testing so I just wanted to share this information with you guys in hopes that you you know test your barrels out and with this uh, Umarex gauntlet it has I believe it's a six groove rifling so it's not micro grooved at all uh, it seems that and this is also second hand with rimfire rounds a lot of people shoot target grade or match grade ammo and get better accuracy and precision out of it and you can see why a clean barrel shoots and performs better with a lube projectile versus a foul dirty barrel comparison to an unlubed projectile and at 23 yards and a 12 mile hour crosswind that is phenomenal and also I want to hit on another note so both these groups here closer to the cross here were shot at the same distance again this being unlubed this being lubed 
look at the position of how closer to the center line this is. The unlubed pellets with an acclimated barrel, a foul dirty barrel, have a better ballistic coefficient causing it to shoot higher or land higher on the target versus slipping because of traction being over lubed and dirty in a barrel you can see how it's causing it to slip so I thought this was a very interesting topic to show you guys and that you know to get out and test and see if your gun is doing the same and acts the same as mine um, this is not the only test I've done like I said I've done this test multiple times on the AAA channel all about air guns and if you're interested still in the 22 gauges, I have 177 and the 5.5 or 4.5 and 5.5 gauges readily available to be mailed out in the U.S. and U.S. territories. Uh, but anyways, I want to appreciate everybody for watching and I hope you get something from this video. I found it to be very interesting and wanted to share it with you and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again, guys, and I hope you subscribe to the second channel, All About Air Guns. I'll see you on the next one.